So this lesson, we're just going to start out by making a simple solution to kind of build our new architecture in, just to kind of get you guys started. Now, I'm inside Visual Studio Community right here on the Mac. You can do the same on the Windows machine. If you're in doubt on how to use creating solutions and work with projects, go and watch the first series. There's a lot of information there, both for Mac and Windows. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to say File, I'm going to make a new solution. I'm going to select the .NET Core app console application solution. Now, if you can't find that, maybe go down to .NET Core app down here and select console application in here. And I'll say next, I'm going to pick the .NET Core 2.1 in my case, because that's the framework out there right now. And I'm going to give the project name console app, because this is going to be the console app from 2017. But that's not, I don't want the pro solution name to be that. I actually want the solution name to be C Sharp Architecture 2018. So this is just going to con contain the old app. That's what I'm going to put inside this project. But the solution, I'm going to build an entire solution with all the beautiful information. Now right here you can see how the project is going to look inside your actual um, folder. There we go. So now it's inside my core, which is just where I put all my different core projects. Um, and I'm going to keep the rest of it as it is. We're going to have an ignore file. We're going to get a Git version control. So let's just create this right here. There we go. So now we have our new solution. And remember, the solution name should be this, right? Make sure your solution name is actually this or something like it. And the project name should be something like this. They can't. You shouldn't name your your solution console app. That's just stupid. Your solution should be something that you you can use the name, right? So. Make sure that the solution name is actually correct. Now it opened the program for me right here, which is the first program, uh, the actual code that's going to be executed when I run this uh, console app right here. Now the first thing I want to do is kind of jump into my old GitHub repo and steal the code from the program in there. And I'm just going to do it manually right here, I'm going to copy the program file. We could have done this with Git, but that's for another series. So I'm just going to grab all of this, except I'm going to grab from program and downwards. Yungi, 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 yungi all the way down to this guy, because that's all the domain logic we need to kind of implement in our new application when we get to that point. So I'm just going to grab all this and just overwrite this program right here. There we go. Now it doesn't know about a customer, so I'm going to have to create that class. So I'm just going to add new file right here, and I'm going to select the class file. I'm going to write customer. There we go. Now that's in here as well. So let's just try and fix this error right here. I'll just do a command dot right here. And there we go. Now we have the list in here. Now the customer is of course empty right now. So let's just add some information. Again, I'm going to go to GitHub and steal the information for the customer right here. Yoink, yoink. Now again, I don't know. This would probably have been faster if I just downloaded everything and removed the Git part. But well, hmm, what can you do? This time I want to try it this way. It's just up to you how you want to do it. Now, there we go. We have the customer available right here. And let's just try and go back. And now it seems that all my code is actually up and running right here. And let's just try and run this to see if anything has broken compared to the 2018 version. And there we go. It seems that I can list all my customers. There we go. We can add a customer. There we go. The customer's added. Let's just list them again. There we go. We have a new customer. We can delete a customer. Let's just delete customer with three. That was the... One I just added, let's just show all customers again. Yeah, that works. We can edit a single customer. And there we go, let's just add the ID of the customer that we want to edit. And let's just give him the name of the, da -da -da, the last name of the da -da -da, and the address of the da -da -da. And show them all again. There you go, now he's da -da -da. So it seems the application is, is working um, in the new version 2018 we have right here. And now all we need to do is kind of start making layers and start breaking this down into something that's a lot more reusable and a lot easier to extend on later on and collaborate with others in your team. See you next time. Have fun.